In this video we're going to look at three Google search operators that can help you be more targeted in your searching. We're going to look at define, file type and site. Let's start with define. Did you know Google is a dictionary as well? If you have a particular word you need to look up the answer for. Let's put in define here and we might say meta more and press enter and the very first listing that you'll get in the result are dictionary definitions and there'll be links to a number of different dictionaries where you can get more information. So that's define. Let's look at another search operator. This time we're going to look at file type. File type helps you narrow down your search so let's just say you were doing some work on fractions and you wanted to find an interactive game so to use that we might use, so let's go file type and we wanted it to find a flash activity, so we'll go SWF, which is the extension for flash activity. And we hit search. And now you can see all of the search results are coming up as flash games, so we can go straight in and have a look at those games and see if they suit our search. We could also, if we were looking to do some instruction on fractions, look for PowerPoints by putting in the PowerPoint extension PPT or PPTX if you wanted to use PowerPoint 2010. This time when we do the search, the only things that are coming up are PowerPoints that are available. So file type can help you narrow down your search. Okay, one more. Let's go back to Google. This time we're going to use the word site. This allows us to search for either different types of sites or to search within a site. So I'm going to start by searching within a site and I want to look for policies and I'm going to have a look in my office site co.wa.edu.au because I know they're somewhere in the site but I'm not exactly sure where. Now when the search goes through rather than just going to the top site CEO it'll actually go in and find it for me in there. So if you didn't know they were under governance and policies. Another way we can use the site command is to look for certain sorts of site such as EDU. So let's say we were looking for some information on literacy and we only want to search sites that have EDU in them, which is an education type sites. So now you can see all of our results are from educational institutions. So three different search operators that can help narrow down your search to find the definitions, file type for different sorts of files, and site to help you dig within a particular site or look for a particular sort of site. 